Awesome, you want to learn about construction projects? Then stay tuned because there's more coming right up. Hello guys, my name is Chris Conkle and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping to grow quality tradespeople so that you can gain the confidence to concentrate on your tasks. Today, I'm going to be talking about the construction project and what makes it so unique. Okay, so I've been working in construction for a very long time and every single project that I've been on is different and every single construction company that I work for has been different as well. So it's important to understand what makes these construction projects and companies so unique. So the first thing that is important to understand is that construction companies and construction projects are different from normal types of businesses in that they require a special type of management that is focused on problem solving during the project. Every single construction project and construction company for that is different. What I mean by that is there's a uniqueness to each building and a uniqueness to each company. Uh, things like on a construction project, time, quality, budget, those are all going to be different from project to project. Even if they look exactly the same, like a cookie cutter type of house, they're going to be unique from one another because they, they are going to have different uh, schedules and different budgets and they're going to have different teams who build them. So no, no two buildings are going to be exactly the same. Every project has a schedule. Even the projects that are huge and seem to go on forever, they still have milestone completion dates. So uh, even the, every project has a completion milestones where they need things like activities they need to get to by a certain time that you know will affect other things, right? There's things that, like critical tasks and things like that that we're going to be getting into a little bit later on in this series. But for now, it's important to realize that every project has a schedule. And the schedule is so important to adhere to, and it's very difficult to do. But um, the more subcontractors that you have on a job, the more complicated maintaining a schedule is, is going to be. So you can imagine on big, huge jobs with uh, dozens of subcontractors, that's going to get a little messy, right? So instead of thinking about it in the big picture, like the long, the overall schedule, there's little things that we call milestones, right? So they're completion milestones. And we focus on getting to a certain point um, so that we're not overdoing it or looking too far ahead right we have to carefully plan everything and as and as things change in the field the scheduling has to be adjusted on the fly so there's no finite schedule really in, in a, on a construction project things always change um, every day things are changing on a site the actual geographical location of the construction site is going to be different from the head, the location of the head office. Uh, the head office could be down the street or it could be on the other side of the world. Um, so it's important to understand that upper management is going to be in the office. Uh, they're not going to be on the same site as you guys. So you're going to have foremen and lead hands, uh, people who will who will manage the sites for uh, the actual contractor. So it, that can be uh, that takes special coordination and special management to uh, to, to to deal with that. A construction project always has a, a one team that builds it, whereas the upper management will have multiple sites on the go at one time. In commercial construction, 75 to 95 percent of the contract is subcontracted out. So there's certain types of contractors, some are even contract management, that will subcontract out 100 percent of the build. But every single job, no matter what job you're on, will have subcontractors. People who are qualified to do certain things or build, and people who build certain parts of the uh, construction project itself. A general contractor is there to maintain uh, scheduling and site security and site safety. Every project is its own cost accounting element and every single project has its own budget and the amount of profit, the amount of money that your company makes, it uh, reflects directly on how well you perform during the build. There's thousands of parts, systems, and uh, equipment that go into a construction project, and they're procured from all different sources. So uh, there's going to be custom fabrications and substantial purchases to get the job done. 
A construction project will have maybe thousands of users or several users, something like a hospital where, the, where there will be tons of people visiting that place every year. There's still only going to be one owner, a single source of payment for that contract. Um, somebody like Ellis Don, Ledcor, or PCL, they're going to take the contract from one single owner and there can only be one prime contractor on site as well. All right, so all these attributes that we just went over, combined with the goals of the project, will determine the techniques used to build it. Uh, my next video coming up is going to be on construction project, the goals of construction projects. So make sure you guys watch for that. Well, I'm glad you guys are interested in construction, and I hope you guys make sure you share and like this video. All right, I hope this video helped you understand what makes construction projects unique. And if so, make sure you hit that like button. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. This is Chris. Bye for now.